Philadelphia News, Team of My Heart. Thus, the LA Clippers faced the Philadelphia 76ers in a game in which the Clippers once again felt embarrassed on their home court. Despite the fact that LA still seems incapable of beating winning teams since the All-Star break, Paul George has at least managed to make some positive history in the process. So basically, the Clippers played the 76ers and had a tough time, especially at home. They have struggled to beat good teams lately, even after the All-Star break. But through it all, Paul George did something noteworthy or positive. Maybe he had a notable performance or achieved a personal milestone. That's some impressive stuff from Paul George. So, Paul George officially moved up the all-time NBA three-pointers made list today. He surpassed Jamal Crawford to claim the 11th spot all to himself, with 2,222 three-pointers in his career. Next up on the list is Jason Terry in 10th place with 2,282 threes, followed by Vince Carter with 2,290. It's definitely within reach for Paul George to climb even higher and maybe even end up at the top of the all-time NBA three-point shooters list. It's gonna be exciting to see if he can pull it off. Man, it sounds like the Clippers are really struggling, especially against tough competition. So, the big issue for the Clippers is that they just can't seem to pass the smell test anymore. Since the All-Star break, they've now got a record of 1-8 against winning teams. They're often getting embarrassed at home even against teams missing key players, and they only managed to claim they found their groove again against the Portland Trailblazers on the road. But instead, they ended up having a total collapse in the fourth quarter against a Philadelphia 76ers team that didn't even have Joel Embiid playing. Tough times for the Clippers, for sure. They've got some serious work to do to turn things around. Man, things are getting tense for the LA Clippers. After that crucial loss, the Clippers are now just half a game ahead of the New Orleans Pelicans for the fifth seed. And they're only three games ahead of the Sacramento Kings for a play-in spot. Simply put, the Clippers don't look like the same competitive team they were just over a month ago. And they don't have much time to turn things around. It's gonna be a nail-biter to see if they can get back on track before it's too late. Friend, have you seen what's happening with the Clippers? It's a roller coaster of emotions. From the struggles on the court to the records broken, there is so much to discuss. But the most important thing is the heart of the team. They are fighting against all odds, but they are still standing. It's one of those moments that makes us feel alive as basketball fans. Watching this video was an emotional roller coaster, I'm sure you will feel the same. Let's share this with our friends so they can join the conversation. Comment below about what you thought of the video and invite them to watch it too. And don't forget to subscribe for more exciting content.